If you look at the ingredients in a pav bhaji, the word pav is literally the Portuguese word for bread. They introduced western style baking to India. Note, naans and kulchas are also yeast based breads, but they require a tandoor. Potatoes originally came from South America and were cultivated at large scale in India only in the 1800s. Tomatoes, chilies and capsicum came from Mexico and were introduced to India by the Portuguese. The British introduced beans, carrots, cabbage, cauliflower, etc. Other than the spices, there is nothing Indian in a pav bhaji. But consider this. During the American Civil War of the 1860s, Mumbai cotton mills originally became hugely successful when Abraham Lincoln blockaded the port of New Orleans, which then benefited cotton exported from Mumbai. And a hearty, low-cost street food that was able to use up about to spoil vegetables was invented to feed hungry textile workers working round the clock. In the truest Indian tradition of embracing contradictions and opposites, pav bhaji is simultaneously the least Indian, most globalized and the most Indian of dishes. The fact that it is made entirely from ingredients that are not of Indian origin does not matter. The history of Indian food is about taking ingredients and techniques from all visitors and colonizers and making pav bhaji out of it.